Well, we turn now to the NASA mission that has top scientists and space geeks uh, geeking out pretty much this morning. The first results are in from the mission that brought back a sample of dust and rock from the surface of a near-Earth asteroid. NBC's Tom Costello is our chief space geek and is here in Washington with us. I know, I mean, you accept that title gladly. Yeah, I, I wrote that actually, yeah. yes. <laughs> and this is huge. This is like the basic ingredients of life. Carbon and water on an asteroid that's four and a half billion years old. Why does that matter? Because you and I are made of carbon and water. This is fascinating. This sample may help reveal the origins of the cosmos and how water ended up on Earth. And if there are traces of water and carbon on an asteroid, could other planets have also be seeded with the critical ingredients for life? Take a look at a time capsule from an ancient solar system. The rock and dust on the edge of that canister are from an asteroid named Bennu, a billion miles away. And here's where it gets really cool. Inside the rocks and dust, researchers have already detected traces of carbon and water, the building blocks of life. We are trying to find out who we are, what we are, and did asteroids provide the basic ingredients for Earth four billion years ago? And touchdown of the OSIRIS-REx sample return capsule. The capsule returned to Earth two weeks ago after a mission that had the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft landing on that asteroid, then drilling down to collect a sample, leaving behind a contrail of dust and debris. In a sterile lab, researchers haven't even opened the sealed sample. The outside container was already covered in asteroid debris. Jackpot. We picked the right asteroid. And not only that, we brought back the right sample. Here's why. Look here. These are close-ups from an electron microscope that has detected clay minerals with water locked inside. Water in an asteroid. That is how we think water got to the Earth making our world habitable. Once NASA opens its nearly nine ounce sample, it plans to share it with researchers around the world and save some for future scientists who haven't yet even been born, but may one day wonder, why is it that we're here, we're alive, we're conscious? It's such a gift that I hope everybody really stops and thinks about it every once in a while. Okay, but wait, if asteroids actually did kickstart the Earth, and if there are trillions of planets out there, what are the chances that happened to some of them, too? And if that's true... E.T. phone home? E.T. phone home. Maybe there's a whole universe of E.T.'s out there. Yeah, it's possible. Something else NASA hopes to learn from this tiny sample. How to better defend Earth from an asteroid on a collision course with us. The more we understand the composition of asteroids and how they are affected by heating and cooling in space, we might learn more about what it would take to move one out of the way, Savannah. And by the way, this particular spacecraft is on its way now to another asteroid that it will do a big survey of as well. It's just incredible that they land that that aircraft on a moving asteroid spacecraft, I should say. Yeah, no, it's it's astonishing. Yeah. On a moving asteroid, they land a spacecraft and drill down, grab a sample, bring it back to Earth. It's four billion years old. And by the way, you are so excellent at your job. But if you ever want a different job, you should be a science teacher. Oh, yeah, Just right. saying. Don't you think, guys? Oh, yeah. Seriously. Spot on. I mean, amazing. Spot on. Thank you, Tom. You bet. Sign up for thanks Mr. for having Costello me. Space Class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.